Hello, and welcome to Bucket Time here at Zion Lutheran Church in Chelsea, Michigan. I'm lay minister Dale Eckhart. The Bears of Zion and I are here to bring you a little children's time. Now, one of the commenters on our Facebook page noted that some of the Bears weren't wearing masks, and that's probably a good example for you kids out there because chances are you need to wear a mask when you go somewhere. So I've found some masks for some of my older bears, for some of the bears that are a little more vulnerable uh, to getting sick, so we've got that. And we've got something here in the bucket which was recommended by one of the kids in the congregation. Your mom sent me this idea through email. So let's see what we've got in the bucket today. We've got marshmallows. Now, when I think of marshmallows, one of the first things I think of is how I, I really love to eat them, especially on Thanksgiving, where we would take marshmallows and put them on top of the sweet potatoes before we bake them in the oven, and they get all gooey and yummy on top. But, but those are little marshmallows, and these well, these are, are much bigger. They're squishy, just like the little ones, but you wouldn't put these necessarily on sweet potatoes. Bears, what you'd probably do with these is you would get a, a campfire and you would put it on a stick or a wire and gently toast it in the fire until it changes colors until it gets roasted inside. Now, some, I like mine, just nightly, nicely toasted. Some people love to catch theirs on fire until it gets all black and charred on the outside, but especially soft and gooey on the inside. So what can we say about marshmallows? What can we say about making them into s'mores, that special treat with the graham crackers and and chocolate bars. Do you know why they call them s'mores? Because once you've had one, you want s'more. <laughs> All right, what can we say about marshmallows? By themselves, they're kind of small. Even these big ones are, are not too big. I could probably eat it in just a bite or two. It's not going to fill me up. But when you take it, and when you put it together with something, when you put it together with dark chocolate and brown graham crackers or other kinds of treats, it can be made into something wonderful. When you bring it together with some, some other things, a marshmallow becomes something wonderful. And kids, you are in some ways like a marshmallow. When you are by yourself, you might say, I'm just... I'm just a kid. I'm kind of squishy. I, I, I might get dropped. But God doesn't look at you that way. God says, when I can put you together with other kids, with other grown-ups, with chocolate bars and graham crackers, you can be something wonderful. You can be something wonderful in God's kingdom. You can take care of animals. You can take, help take care of other people. You can do amazing things, whether you're by yourself or whether you're connected with somebody else. So don't worry about being too squishy and about being not enough by yourself because God wants to bring you together and do wonderful things with you. All right, let's have a little prayer here. Dear God, thank you for the children who watch these videos. Thank you for wonderful treats like marshmallows. Thank you for bringing those treats together and making even something that seems very small turn into something wonderful because that's what you want us to be, your wonderful children. You love us always, and we're grateful for that too. Amen. All right, let's bring our paws in. One, two, three, go Jesus!